While many people think that the world is overpopulated, no one can actually define overpopulation, making it difficult to prove or disprove. The best they can do is point to examples, such as traffic jams, homelessness, and long lines at the coffee shop. But these are not examples of global overpopulation. These are examples of urban overcrowding. We know this because these conditions only exist in cities. And cities, by definition, are places where very large numbers of people are deliberately grouped together. All these people make innovation, collaboration, and economic development possible where it wouldn't have been otherwise. And, as anyone who's ever been to a rock concert knows, when you group large numbers of people into one place, it gets crowded. And, like a concert, a city is crowded because people come from miles away to be there, not because people are recklessly reproducing. In fact, studies show that the birth rate actually drops when people move to urban settings and is notably lower than the rural birth rate. Less space and a higher cost of living make it less feasible to have a large family in an urban setting, as opposed to the country, where a large number of children help you to do things, like run a farm. An empty city is a failure, since no one wants to be there. The thing is, having so many people in one place poses certain logistical challenges, which means infrastructure needs to be built to support them. Sometimes this infrastructure fails, resulting in unemployment, homelessness, gangs, and other social evils. But, just as people continue to go to concerts, despite the scarce parking, the trash, and the impossible traffic, the promise of better jobs, prestigious schools, modern healthcare, and high culture calls people to leave the countryside and move to the city. As a result, the cities are crowded, and the rest of the world is mostly empty space. If the crowding is unbearable, you can always move elsewhere. Perhaps Kansas.